Happy January 1st, 2023. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful day, a brand new year. Now I have time to expound. Yes. Before earlier today, I had somewhere to go, but now I can take the moments to bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Hopefully you were able to do that <laughs> when you woke up, when you were able to live, move, have been. We're on the other side, y'all. We don't take this lightly. We don't take it for granted because many did not see or experience the year 2023. So we're here for a reason. We're here on purpose. We have intention and it is to do the will of the Lord in Acts 21. Now, Paul, Paul was so full of boldness, bravery, courage, and he was talking to the people. And it said in verse 12, it said, and when he heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. They're like, no, don't go. Then Paul answered, hold up, what means ye to weep? Why are you all sorrowful <laughs> and to break mine heart? For I am ready. Now he's like, come what may. <laughs> it might be the end of my life. We don't know what's going to take place this year. Just like we didn't know what was down the road as far as in 2020. We don't know. But we can go. We can proceed trusting the Lord because here Paul said look for I am ready not to be bound only <laughs> even if they tie me up and they imprison me but not only that but also I'm ready to die because whether I live or die I am the Lord's Woo! isn't that our testimony yes it says but I am also ready at Jerusalem for the name, this is the key, for the cause, the name of the Lord Jesus. And this is what we have to come to the point of. Whatever, Lord, is your will, we surrender everything to you. Not our will, but your will be done. And in verse 14, and when he would not be persuaded, we ceased saying, the will of the Lord be done. And this is what the Lord wants us to come to, to the point where it's not about us. It's not about our program. Yes, but it's all for God's glory and for his purposes to be fulfilled in our lives. Matthew six nineteen says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. This is just for a moment what we are experiencing here. Because listen, treasures on earth, the moth will come and rust doth corrupt. And thieves try to break in, take the cars, carjacking, whatever, thinking that this is the key. And they want to take and steal. But no, no, no. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither Moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves cannot break through and steal. So this is the point. This year, yes, we know great things are going to happen. The best is yet to be in 2023. We know that we can pursue the purposes of the Lord. He has great things in store for all of us. But we have to stay heavenly minded, not earthly minded. It, we have a work to do horizontally while we're here, but listen, we are pilgrims. We are sojourners passing through this world of sin on our way to that glorious city where the saints go marching in. Amen. We would have gone to Psalms 1. We have to make sure that we take delight in the precepts and the law of the Lord both day and night. And we shall be, we're about to take Christmas trees down, but listen, we're going to be like the trees planted by the rivers of water that we're going to bring forth our fruit 
in this season, in the appointed time that the Lord had planned even before the beginning of time. And our leaf, our health shall not wither. And whatsoever we do shall prosper. Yeah, this is what we want of the Lord to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. We know that that song that, that I played, that's from, I believe, 19, is it 89? But it was more so an exercise in chords and going from key to key. And it was originally, I believe, a wedding song, but the words that you might want to put with those notes. It says the Lord's will be done and the victory is won each day. We have love, joy, and peace no matter what comes our way. Emmanuel's here to stay and we have serenity each day. So we can have the boldness, we can have the courage, we can have the fortitude like Paul had back then when he was going from region to place to location, just going from journey to journey. Yeah, and he knew that he was passing through, that he was on assignment. And we can have that same testimony that we want the Lord's will to be done wherever he places us so that he will be glorified in all ways. So let's pray that the Lord will have his way this very day and for the rest of our days so that he will be exalted in all of our lives. Thank you, Father, for 2023. Thank you, Lord, for letting us see another brand new year. God, we don't know what's going to take place, Father, but we will follow you with rejoicing. And we know that with you, you will safely lead us to our eternal home. We're not going to be swept up by what is temporary, the situations that we see and feel and hear, but Lord, we're going to continue to live by faith and not our senses. So Lord, have your way in each one of our lives, oh God, and you will get all of the praise, honor, and worship for the rest of our time and through eternity. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.